comes a time in every man's life when he's got to take over his father's business thing. Okay? Pop, having second thoughts about this, I don't know if I'm able to handle it. Well, listen, see, it's not really that hard, see. Mostly what it is is, it's not a crime, it's not more crime in this here, this business, see. You go to this shop, you go to that shop, you go all over and you see what they're doing. If they're playing any funny business, you, you pop them. If you don't play any funny business, fine. You collect the money and you protect them, see, because there's a sort of people here, right? Yeah. That's all it is. But, Dad, I just don't know. Now, listen. I'll tell you once. Tradition has it that the first son in every family, you know, he's got to take over. Yeah, excuse me, boss, but there's this Ron Martin. He wants to see you. Pesky Phillips, you know. All right, listen, you, I'll talk to you later about this here, all right? Yeah. Go get two more glasses for the friends, and you, uh, you go get Ron Wild, whatever his name is. Saying. Go ahead. Have something to say? Yes, well, you see, my people are growing in number, and I think it's about time I had more territory. I see. Well, you see, the problem is, Town is one of our biggest, you know, business districts, all right? Yeah. We make a lot of money. We can, you know, get along nice from Chinatown, you know? People from California come here to see New York. They want to go to Chinatown, they go, they make money, and we get it, see? So I don't know if we have to, you know, make a little arrangement here. Maybe you can get part of the deal, but you can't. I don't think it's possible that you can get the whole thing. Now listen. No. Since it's your table, Mr. Nuncio, you can break. Yes. Shot there, Mr. Nuncio. I think you're too good for me. Two balls and go in, famous. Okay, now listen, Ron. A very important meeting to attend to. And uh, I can't talk business right now, Shane, because this meeting is very imperative and I go. So, my friend here, Joey La Rosa, we'll get in touch with you, Shane. We'll set up a second meeting. We'll discuss business. We'll see what we can do and Okay, it's set then. I'll uh -huh. see you another time. Okay, I'll see you. Let's open the door. Wait a minute, you know something? I don't like that guy. He thinks he's too strong. Yeah, I think we should kill him right away. Man. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be much easier for us, you know, to take over. But we'll figure it out the way if we get back to our house. Okay. Okay. Huh? Talk business. Okay. Okay. My friend. You? Thank you. Who are you? Thank you. Mr. Wong. 
May he live forever. Killer. God forgive him. The truth, it's evident now. My goal is to make peace. Whatever may I have to do. Oh God. <laughs> That's it. I was a good kill, my man, Nuzo. Oh, we really took care of him. You killed him? You killed Mr. Wang? Yep. What do you mean, yep? No, I saw no it. feelings at all. That's got to be a killing I want to no, 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 see, man. No killing at all. That's got to be killing No, this you make it clear. You make it clear. Clear. We're clear. clear what? This, this kind of clear. Hey, now, son, now, listen. Hey. No, listen. I tell you once, man, you're going to kill your father. That's right. Yeah, you man, said it's tradition, man. right? The odd story. Yeah. You deserved it, Father. You deserved it. You took the land, you took this underworld empire, and you did it wrong. I'm going to divide it equally, and I'm going to make it legitimate. Remember, Father, you said you live by the gun, and you die by the gun. Oh, that was late, man. <laughs> no, the thing was smoking. 